Hello everyone! In this video I will discuss the seismic well type, beginning with a basic introduction into the topic and then advancing to the methods for automated alignment. My name is Ruslan, I am the CTO at a software company that develops AI-powered geosign software. We have a collection of AI tools that improve speed and quality while also providing a unique perspective on your data. If you'd like to learn more, click on the link in the comments. And the first question that I will address, what is seismic well type? It is important process of alignment geological properties and well logs to seismic data. As you know, the seismic data is typically interpreted in time domain, whereas well logs are recorded in dev domain. As you understand, in order to get all the information in the same domain, we got to use velocities. Velocities affect the time depth function between the seismic and well logs. But there is a catch. Velocity is non-linear and varies with depth. Obtaining a precise velocity model is extremely difficult. And you might have a question there. Why do we need a precise velocity model? A precise seismic well tie is required for reservoir characterization, seismic inversion, and seismic processing. Let's take for example horizon interpretation which is the process of matching stratigraphic markers from wells to seismic reflectors. Without proper alignment, we would not be able to resolve those reflections that are associated to oil and gas building reservoirs, which kind of defeat the purpose. You own a matter universe, if I can say that. Doing your work, picking up reflections, but you don't know how to map it to reality. Okay, let's go into the seismic inversion. You know that extracted wavelets are combined with the reflection coefficients to generate synthetic seismic, which is then optimized to get elastic properties. Most seismic inversion methods require a wavelet with accurate phase and amplitude estimation. They also help in seismic processing, where they help in determining the amount of phase shift to zero phase the seismic data. The amplitude of the extracted wavelets at various angles can also be used for a proper offset scaling of the dataset. In a nutshell, this is how the seismic well tie is accomplished. It is required shifting, stretching, squeezing the synthetic seismogram, which you obtain from well logs, to match a real seismic trace at or near well bore location. Let's review how it's done on practice by interpreters. And the first way is manual seismic well tie. I'm editing the video right now, and it seems like I forgot to ask you to like this video so that it reaches more people. While researching many papers for this video, they almost all outline the seismic well type process as follows. At first step, since the seismic data is collected in time, we need to convert the well log information from dev to travel times. Check shots and vertical seismic profiles data are suitable for this. Then we generate a reflectivity series from the velocity and density logs. At step 3 we calculate a proper wavelet. Then we are using convolutions to generate a synthetic seismogram by convolving the wavelet with a reflectivity. But we need to be aware that the seismic modeling relies on the assumptions of wavelet stationarity layer homogeneity, all the seismic multiple free nature. And final step is aligning the synthetic seismogram to the real one by shifting, stretching and squeezing. And it's a good question, now let's get consider what factors might affect the quality of the tie so that you know what to expect. It is critical to examine the quality of logs used to generate synthetic seismograms because any non-geological spikes in velocity all then stay can cause incorrect events or impact the amplitudes in the synthetic seismic. The seismic must also be checked for quality. The synthetic seismic cannot be expected to match the real data if it is affected by residual multiples or has a lower signal to noise ratio. There are also pitfalls associated with the phase timing ambiguity problem. It means that the data might be tied reasonably well with wavelets with various phases and timings which is not correct. More than that, logs are frequently measured around the formation of interest. This results in insufficient logging interval for a stable deterministic wavelet extraction, especially at lower frequencies. As a result, manual tying is highly interpretive, has numerous degrees of freedom, and is susceptible to human errors or bias. Moreover, potential noise in the data, as well as various sources of uncertainty, 
can further complicate the task and make it time consuming and frustrating for the interpreter. In order to ease the seismic well tie, numerous methods for nonlinear alignment have been presented. Let's start with analytical methods. And then we'll transition to machine learning. Most of the automated well time methods that have been published so far focus on finding out time depth relationship. The main contributions use constrained dynamic time warping to stretch and squeeze the synthetic seismic. Then the others took the DTV approach to a case with more than one well. A 2020 paper suggests a way to automatically connect synthetic and real seismograms while maintaining waveforms and determining wavelet phase. I know a good place to look if you want to see how the DTV algorithms for seismic well tie works in practice. Here are the GitHub account and repository where the DTV solution was tested and found to be effective. I didn't try it, but it appears to have a synthetic well log generation and dynamic time working for automated well ties. The link in the description. While DTV as the most widely spread method shows encouraging alignment, when we compare the results of DTV to the results of machine learning seismic well tie, we can be certain that machine learning will outperform. Let's move on to the machine learning based solutions. As we've seen that we need to align synthetic seismic with real seismogram so that we might approach the problem as a 1D pattern recognition problem. There are different algorithms of course, including the long short term memory, the recurring neural networks and the temporal convolutional neural networks that appear to be a suitable solutions. Others used combination of recurrent and temporal convolutional neural networks to convert sonic logs from depth to time. They were also an attempt to use a physics guided convolutional neural network to estimate the time depth in the absence of bias free human interpreted labels. And there are three papers that I carefully chosen to be reviewed in my following videos. They clearly demonstrate how machine learning outperforms manual and analytical solutions. This was a summary of seismic to well tie, including theoretical background and current state of the art solutions. Let me know if you enjoy it and please feel free to suggest other topics that you might be interested in. Meanwhile, in this video you receive a comprehensive overview of seismic phases detection, its speed falls and current state of the art solutions.